Right, right. I got you. I got you. But hey, did you see this interview I did with Macadocious? He was a member of the group Thug Life. Nah, nah, Macadocious. Nah, I didn't see it. What, what did he talk about? What was he saying? Well, he spoke about the fight between Pac and Allen Hughes, and he confirmed that, you know, Pac wasn't behind that. Well, it doesn't matter if you ask somebody to do it or not. If they do it, they do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, what you can do is say, hold on, stop. Let's, I need to head up fade. Everybody back the f up. I need that, right? But at the time, I mean, it, it happened so fast. Maybe you just was like, I don't know. But you can say, back up. You know what I'm saying? I need to head up fade. I just think it happened so fast and it, it just, you know what I'm saying? It just happened. Like, but I don't I don't even know who um what the Macadocious got there? Yeah, he was actually in the fight. He was one of the guys jumping Allen Hughes. Oh, okay. But what was his rendition of what happened? And what what did he what did he what did he see? Did he see it different than than, than I saw it? I mean, both of y'all had different point of views. I'm gonna play the video for you right quick for you to see it for yourself. Hey Wes, play the video right quick for you can see it. Spice one video shoot, right? You was there when Pac and Allen Hughes got in that fight, right? Well shit, we was all there together, Spice. Spice was there, all the Thug Life members. Uh, you know, Pac was telling us some shit was gonna pop off. We was actually shooting a video right off the 110 freeway and shit, like in East LA. And uh, and Pac was like, yeah, when these niggas get here, we gonna mop these niggas up. And whoop de whoop whoop. We didn't even know who he was talking about. He just said, when these niggas get here, we finna get on their head, right? So. You know, us being thug like nigga, and we all with it, one one for all, all for one. All of a sudden, that nigga said, them nigga, here they go right there. And they was like down the hill. You know how East LA got them hills and shit? They had parked their car down the hill. So as soon as we seen them niggas, we rushed them. Like everybody, like it was, packed them out, bro, to be, to be honest. We packed them out and uh, and really, that was that. We packed them out, them niggas, ooh, they scared, they got on. And then she, the next thing you know, that shit was in the papers and shit. Yeah, that's crazy, man. And I heard one of them ran, right, Albert? Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, yeah. One of the twins ran, and one brother, Pop, got on one. He was squabbling with one of them, and we was chasing the other one. So when y'all jumped on Pac, he didn't ask y'all to do that, right? Because I heard that Pac, he actually went up to Allen Hughes one-on-one, -on -one, and he confronted him and punched him. And y'all volunteered and jumped in. Tupac didn't ask yeah. y'all to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it happened. Yeah. When I say packed out, yeah, yeah, we we didn't all just pack him all at once. Now Pop confronted him, and then he bombed on him, and then that's when it jumped off. It was so low, he was just like, "This is finna go down." So that's what he told us in the beginning. But we didn't just initially just run over there and start getting on their head. Pop, Pop got it broke first, and then them they started getting down. Pop took off, and then that's when everybody else got in it. I feel you. So I, I hear what everybody's saying. So. My thing is, uh, yeah, Tupac, Allen and Tupac, Allen grabbed Tupac, and they was they were they were more tussling. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember the bombing on it, but it could have happened. But I know they were more like tussling at first, and then everybody. Then that's when the rush came. So this is my thing, and this is nothing against nobody. So. If if one person bombing on you and everything, you take it off and everything is whatever. Usually they fall and it's it's over or whatever the case may be, right? You don't. Allen Allen ain't ain't a little dude, so it's like whatever happened, they, they had to Nick, Nick, they needed like twenty niggas to kind of figure that out. That's all I'm saying, and I don't want to get into the the full ramifications of it because it's it's over twenty twenty five years ago, and I'm a big Tupac fan and I'm a big Allen fan. You know what I mean? So it it. it it rubbed me the wrong way to even have to speak on both of these because both of these are are, are are people that I really, 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 really f with. So I'm really, f so doing the interview talking about these two niggas, niggas be getting torn, you know what I'm saying? But it's too, it's it's kind of like, it's kind of like two brothers having a fight. You know what I'm saying? That's like two brothers having a fight and it's like, both of you niggas, the brother, both of you niggas was wrong in, in a sense kind of thing. You know what I mean? Because Allen could have been like, hey, Get the word out to Pac that Bob Shea said "wooty wooty whoop instead of him having to just, you know what I mean? It could have been, it could have been, uh, did a little better. You know what I'm saying? And and Tupac could have been a, a, a little more better because they did, Brenda's got a baby. They did a lot of cool shit for you. And then when he did the Dear Mama video, uh, um, when Alan did the, uh, the documentary, that goes to show you that he, like deep down he fucked with Pac. Like this was just some, this was some shit that just really got out of hand. 
by two people that really f with each other. That's what I really feel. So that's why when we speak on it, we're not dissing Pop and we're not dissing Allen. We talk about two niggas that's kind of like had a like a, a brother relationship. So we can talk about it honestly. You know what I'm saying? See, I didn't see the initial punch, so I can't confirm who punched who first, you know. But from what when I went down when I went down the hill, as I'm walking down the hill, I'm looking and I just see a like a gang of people just fighting. And by the time I get down the hill, everybody is dispersing. You know what I mean? And it wasn't, um, this is what you gotta understand. I'm gonna be honest with you. Alan wasn't unconscious or nothing. I don't know, man. It just it it, it was just a it was a weird time a weird moment and, and 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 but it's a part of history that keep coming up you know what i mean but i feel like i could talk about it because come on man it was like it was like brothers man it was like it was just brothers fight sometimes